out reserve. So putting aside the argument that you are saying they weren't at the top of the list, this is somebody still in the party who is a candidate and he thinks it's disgraceful. And I said to Mike, Mike, you've, done, you've made a knee-jerk reaction to what's in the media without looking at what was actually said. And the next <laughs> time, actually look at the, what, the facts behind the issues, when what Carl Benjamin was doing was actually... He wasn't making a joke about rape. He was making a remark of non-intent because he knew that that would goad somebody into complaining because they complain about everything. And he's trying to campaign to retain free speech on the internet and on the media. He said he wouldn't even media. rape a Labour MP. And it does then beg the question, who would you rape? Well, um, How on I earth can you make I personally comments like make that and think that they're not serious like that. and but he, he is running a free speech forum and he had an issue with that MP because when uh, in Parliament uh, Philip Davis, a Tory MP, tried to get a, um, a committee to look at the problem of male suicide, which is a very big issue because 80 or 90 percent of suicides are men, she was sneering and laughing at it. And she was also trying to close down free speech on the Firstly, internet. Firstly, you've done what you've done all the way through this interview, was, which is completely misrepresent that. You well, are just it lying isn't, to people. It isn't. I'm not but the lying other problem because that's what happened. is that you don't seem to think for a minute that there is a problem with one of your candidates making jokes about rape. It wasn't We've a joke. We've got a serious problem remark with violence of, against was, women and girls in was, this country. And, and, and you think that it's OK for him to make no, rape threats on social media? because he wasn't, he wasn't making a threat. And he's actually suing people now who misrepresented him in the media. Is it responsible for a political candidate to talk in those terms. Exactly. He, these the, these, these uh, quotes, the things that he did say, were from years gone by when he was on a free speech forum All right. and now he's an election candidate. Let's talk about some of the other things he said because in one video that I've seen he uses the N-word. Is that funny? He was using that against white supremacists and he was yeah. goading but them, is it, so he wasn't but is it using funny? it. Because uh, you said you've defended him on the basis of satire. Um, he's a comedian, he's a funny guy. Is it funny to use the N-word in any circumstances? He was using that against yeah. white supremacists. I'm asking you a question, is it funny? The I, didn't th I don't think it's particularly funny. Right, you no. don't think it's funny, you don't but think it's But then I don't think a lot of the comedians on BBC are funny either. It, it, fine, but is there anything that he can say that is still acceptable to you? Is there any line that he can't cross? Yes, of course, but he what hasn't... What is it? Well, I'm not going to sit here and come up with umpteen examples of things that somebody might say that hasn't say, well, said. Well, what is it? I mean, if he said something satirical, in your view, offensive to others about veterans or the poppy, would that well, you're, be defendable? You're sitting here surmising on things that he hasn't said and has got no intention of saying. No, I'm trying to ask you where your well, line is. Well, because there's I, obviously got to be a line where you don't think there is a line to be drawn. You say it's free speech to talk about rape or use the N-word in whatever circumstance. So I'm trying to ascertain with you, is there a line beyond which well, a candidate for UKIP can't cross? Yes, of course. Well, what is well, it? Well, when I see it, I'll let you know, because right. I'm not going so to say something that might, or might well, not happen. Well, you've talked about veterans, you want and you feel with... very strongly about veterans. So if someone someone said something, if Carl Benjamin said something equivalent to using N-word about veterans and the poppy, would you defend well, him? Well, he isn't going to do that, is he? Ah, so that is so defended. Would he? That you wouldn't defend. Well, there are lots of things I wouldn't defend. But I'm not going to sit and surmise on 101 or 1,000 things that might happen that have never happened and what are not the, going to happen. What if the veteran happened to hold a different point of view? What if the veteran happened to be a female Labour MP who had something to say that he didn't agree with? What well, if the veteran would that happened to be from an ethnic minority well, background? There are plenty of because them. Because he seems to think it's OK to make rape threats and he to, and make to rape use offensive threats, language and if, uh, about people from ethnic minority threats, minority backgrounds. And I've been so careful because he's already assuming people now who said that he did. So, and this is now under you're not, you're legal consideration. He's already Television. He has Perhaps not he should be threatened careful. anybody for Perhaps rape. Your party and if you say that, you, you feel... might end up getting sued as well. Uh, but... Lovely. You've said it live on television. I, I think you've watching. just shown to this country what sort of a person you are and what sort of party you stand for. It, this is the one time that I actually agree with Nigel Farage. It just looks like a group of extremists and Of course you want to say that. You're our political nastiness. opponents. You're our enemies. And you're but sitting there to, furiously voting for signals Gerard, to try Gerard, and get Gerard, votes. Why are you defending him? What's the benefit to you, Kip? Um, I mean, is he worth it, well, this guy? You what, um, we you've were... lost good MEPs as far no, as your party is concerned. we have lost good MEPs. Right. We lost people with no loyalty to the party. Right. Is it worth it? Is he well, worth it? Well, you see, it? now, when we were thinking about who we're going to have as our MEP candidates, we knew that we're not going to get a fair crack of the whip from the mainstream media. We know we're going to be relentlessly attacked, like we're being now. So we looked at people who came to us, actually. We didn't recruit them. They came to us and said they think that the issues of free speech, etc., are very important and they'd like to join us. All right. And they've joined us. And they have access to hundreds of thousands of millions of people, especially on younger I'll, people. I'll come to that. And you think that'll translate into votes, do you? I'll come to see well, about we'll see, that. Well, we? I'll let, 